Okay, I'm gonna try to whip this video out real quick. This is the so-called uh, Chinese MPPT solar charge controller. Um, there's really no brand name. It's like, except for maybe Eco Sources, it says here. This is a box it comes in. Uh, these are the main alternative to um, what do you call? Uh, I guess American designed or, or European designed uh, MPPT or Taiwanese designed MPPT. Uh, that stands for, of course, it says right there what the stands for. Um, <clears throat> these are ra rather inexpensive. They they're around uh, eighty to a hundred dollars ish a piece. Um, mainstream MPTs and PPTs are uh, several hundred dollars. Now, there's been a big argument that you can't trust. Uh, Chinese manufacturing engineering and things like that and I have come to the conclusion that you cannot trust blanket statements um, there's always a gray area in every situation in this case this this gray area will allow you to benefit um, let me just rip this package off because you know what, I'm just poking around so I'll keep talking here um, so anyway, yeah, the controversy is you can't trust the tiny manufacturer. It'll fail you, blah, 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 da, 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 buy American, da, 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 but the American stuff is a lot of money, and I'm on a budget. So anyway, there's that one you can see, that box side. This is a box that comes in. There's the manufacturer. There you go. So anyway, this is basically a quick review of what you get. And I bought this from EcoWorthy. And they offer a discount sometimes. They had a blanket discount not too long ago. That's what I benefit off of. This is the third unit I've bought. Uh, this is their 400 watt uh, solar panel setup deal. This is a manual for this thing, and this would be a high interest to a lot of you um, to actually understand what they're trying to present. So I've looked on the net, and I can't see the actual specs. This will help you out, per se, what to see. Hopefully you can read it. Like that. Turn the page. And so, this this is my my scheme of the matter. You're gonna get a aluminum housed uh, the elect uh, unit. the The electronics are are uh, uh, coated with that uh, antioxidant coating, that that clear plastic or clear whatever acrylic coating that you see on mil military um, boards, electronics boards and stuff. It's meant for harsh environments. I saw one of these get opened up. That it's got that special coating that makes it super rugged to uh, environmental. Um, and so you're getting a high quality metal housing. That's a good heat sink. There's no moving parts. There's no fan or anything crap like that. I think it's about 20 amps and I'm going to talk to you about this for a second. Um, uh, limit and and like that. And so you're getting a pretty good deal. Um, the no moving parts is a big thing. I saw a YouTube video on, on a, a really good brand that had fans and stuff and the fans were not working. Saw another video where they had like an exterior fan in one of these and they ran it off of the load right there. You can load a, a, a like a DC PC fan, direct current personal computer fan. You run that off there directly to, uh, there's a uh, more info for you. Um, 
to cool it and I've noticed they they do get a little warm and stuff I haven't had a good chance to see any, any super duper fire they got a good mounting to them like I said it's in metal so if you got like a, a solar panel set up in your panels uh, are gonna last you around 25 years to about 80 percent capacity you're gonna need a good solid um, MPPT I don't know if this will last 25 years but my guess is it will it's kind of like really basic um, I can't go through I can't go through the display for you right now but I'm just showing you what you get um, it's it's a solid unit okay these are these are plastic here but you do get look like, it looks like gold coated or brass coated connectors which is a nice touch and this this is easy to maintain then they have some funky uh, funky connectors and stuff where you gotta dilly dally it's all it's pretty standard um, it's got easy easy push controls I've noticed someone said you gotta watch out for the plastic coating it scratches easily yeah that might be a little flaw but whatever you're not gonna sit there with a knife are you um, I don't think it's waterproof but um, I, in fact I'm sure it's not we just mount it in a good spot that'll, that'll hold on to it. It's cheap enough too to where if it does fail you can get another one. You get several of these if it fails for the price of like um, uh, uh, one of your, your mainstream ones. And trust me, if I could, I would get a mainstream solar charge controller. But we're talking hundreds and hundreds of dollars, alright? And... I'm on a budget and I want just something cheap and easy to use um, and reliable and uh, I've got one going I so was impressed about two more and uh, I'm gonna have those set up um, so anyway uh, now I don't think they're UL rated so I'd be careful about putting it into your mainstream grid uh, a grid tie-in setup I'd be careful about that because not you all rated um, but as a hobbyist or whatever I'm sure it doesn't really matter um, but anyway so my review you're basically getting aluminum housing the electronics board that I saw in another video it is uh, it's got the electronics clear coat on it which is really nice it makes it really tough compared to an unprotected board you got it's either gold plated or brass plated it's probably gold plated ish or something uh, connector which is good for long term corrosion resistance and the controls are a little wonky you can see other videos but the other thing too is you got 24 volts or 12 volt user selectable so if you change your system around you have that uh, capability and um, it's got a digital display which is nice it tells you what's going on as backlit um, lets you know so in the dark um, it's got like I said the DC out so you want to run something straight off the solar panel and um, and it's affordable and yeah I, I want to buy uh, good American stuff if I can or European stuff but the prices are so high because environmental laws the patent laws um, the the cost of labor all these stupid laws that have destroyed manufacturing in this country um, it's 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 sick you gotta go off to where the laws don't apply to get anything inexpensive and it's it's a deindustrialization um, of Europe and America and it sucks and uh, but for somebody where you you don't have a lot of money, you got to take advantage where there is advantage. In this case, it comes from China. It's the MPPT charge controller. From what I've seen, I've had one running for about three months now. It's done what it says it can do. So I recommend it. And um, hope you enjoy this video. Please subscribe and like. It helps me out to make more review videos and things like that. This is Military Industrial Museum. Remember, if it works for you, it doesn't matter where it came from. And uh, there you go. So, have a good day.